Hi, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut, and welcome to Todayish in Space Flight History. Joining me this week is Jacob EQ. Whoa, the Everyday Question here. New name. Sometimes you gotta switch it up a little bit. We decided two new names. Two new names. We have a new name for the show because we used to call it Today in Space Flight History. I used to partner with the Orbital Mechanics. I still love the Orbital Mechanics. They're still my go-to space podcast. But uh, I just it's hard to schedule sometimes. We're like, they would be talking about something that's not space flight related. I'd be talking about something. Uh, I just decided to not step on their toes. I'm just going to make it today-ish in space flight history and kind of do our own thing. Still love them. Get it close. Hi, Orbital close. Mechanics. Yeah. 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 And you are the everyday questionnaire. Yeah. I'm, I'm a bridge between your real standard, simple, everyday guy and a brain like you. Ah, uh, no. That's you, my job. You do a good job. That's but my job. There's more. You can go deeper, deeper. You're like the... You're, you're going to the... I'm putting on a diving suit and I'm diving down <laughs> to the bottom of the barrel. You're at the bottom of the Marianas Trench. I'm not scared to ask any question. That's true because you... Jacob knows nothing about space. If, I'm, I'm that's Jake. why he's here. Yeah, I know nothing. He's the great equalizer, the EQ. Mm. RCDJ, our friend. Hello. Oh, nice. RCDJ. RCDJ is a great person. Thank you so much, RCDJ. Let's kick, let's kick the show off. I think it's time. I'm really excited about what we're doing today. As soon as I pop it up, I'm going to tell you guys what we're doing. This is a great one. Uh, yeah, let's I'm get started. I, I'm going to hit the wrong button a bit. Let's get started. Three, two, one, zero, and Oh! Have you even looked over here to look at this thing? I just peeked, and it's beautiful. Yeah, I know! <laughs> Today in history is one of my favorite things that has happened in all of spaceflight history. I'm dead serious. This really? is literally one of my top, top something. What is this guy? This is the Soviet Union. Remember the Soviet Union? Yeah. Like, now called Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Artist formerly known as Soviet Union. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. They... We're racing us to the moon at one point, right? I remember that. They had a moon rocket, and it didn't. we didn't know about it until, like, the 80s. Until, like, the 80s, early 90s, because okay. it was secret. But it was huge. Absolutely massive. Yes. And it had, here's what it is, it's called the N1. Okay. It had 30 engines oh, on the bottom of it. Mama see. Then eight engines on the second stage. Then four engines on the next stage. Then a lunar kick stage up here. And it only could carry two cosmonauts. One of them would land on the moon alone. Can you imagine that? Just so being on the moon alone? Sad and lonely. Sad and lonely. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make it so this one fails first. And then, because that's what happens. Uh, spoiler alert! It didn't work. Uh, they put the batteries in backwards. The stage is fired in the wrong order. <laughs> that's actually not too far off. Yes! Uh, I Thank think... You. So what, what I'm going to do, instead of me, this thing took me a long time to build. And it's actually a pretty accurate replica. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have it fail. We're going to start off with it failing. All right. And then I'll, I'll be talking about it. And then we're going to, you know, actually see if we can do the moon landing that Russia never could do. I love that. I love that too. And it's going to be super, it's going to be great. Because it's this is the most Kerbal rocket. What other rocket has 30 engines on the main stage? I can't wait for that to to just blast off. It's gonna, I'll, it's gonna do more than that. It's not gonna take off from inside of here because that would be another way to fail. <laughs> just fire it up right now. I really wish we could actually. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna disable all this auto stress. People out there might know why I'm gonna do this. We're gonna try to replicate the failure that actually occurred um, on the vehicle at first in the in the real world. Hang on. And um, in doing so, I, I, I'm kind of feeling like now that we're in a build mode. Can you give me a little building music? Are you even holding a guitar? I'm holding a guitar. Mm. Uh, oh, holding mm. on to a hot uh, G sharp mm. minor or uh, whatever. You're, it's, minor. you're very close. Mm. Uh. So Jake is uh, basically just here to, uh, to, to ask the questions uh, and play some sexy kind of jazzish music. Uh, um, I hope this will work. It's time to build. It's time to build. You know it's time to build. Cause it's time to build. It's time to it's time Actually, to we're not build. building. It's time to launch. Let's launch instead. <laughs> I, let's make sure there's no one in it because the first ones were totally uh, crewless. I almost said clueless. Crewless. Yeah. Now you're getting onto my page because I do not want to harm 
any of our little green friends. You love those little green guys. Love them. I love, love them. that you love those green guys. Oh, look at oh, RC DJ's RC back in with has more. a request. Thank you, RC DJ. Play some spicy, something he said. Spicy. Well, I'm about to play How some launch music. When, when we're launching, you spice that thing up. Do you want me to just hit the theme song that I wrote for you? Yes. Yes, I do. Are we launching? Eventually. It's taking a long time. Oh, it's nighttime. Yeah, I guess it's sexy night launch. Ooh. Are you going to sing this gotta song? i got to change my tone a little bit if it's nighttime, because that is beautiful. Look at that horizon. That is. Yeah. I know. Every day astronaut can't keep the smile from his face. He's heading up to outer space. Oh, yeah, he's heading up to outer space. I'm just going to tag that. All right. You guys ready for this? RC DJ. Tipping you again. Thank tip, you, RC Daddy. RC DJ, the tip daddy. Oh, thank you, RC DJ. RC DJ, this launch is. No, this launch isn't for you. You know what? This launch is not for RC DJ. We don't want a failure to be on RC DJ's hands. No, next one, maybe. Next one, maybe. When we try to go to the moon, that will be for RC DJ. This one's not for you. This is what maybe happened. All right, ready for this? Ready? Three, two, one, hip, hip. We're gonna do a hot fire and then release. And, oh man, I'm nervous that I didn't do my job of making it wiggly enough. Crap, I was expecting it to go all wiggle woggle. It's not wiggle woggling at all, I did that once. You know what that is. That's, he did that last time. It's just in my blood, baby. <laughs> That's up. Um... That's that, uh... No, it's not. You can't say it, and it's not. You're right. You're right. It's not. Wait a minute. Is this thing supposed to have crashed by now? No. 67 seconds into flight. I'm scared. It looks kind of good. I know. It actually, even with all the stuff, like, turned off, it's doing pretty good. I'm afraid to look at that rocket blast like I'm going to go blind or something. That is... You would in real life. Really? I don't know. But I... The Falcon Heavy was super bright. It, like, actually kind of hurt my eyes. I guess kind of, I had to, like, you know, the iris instead of go... How big is this compared to the Falcon Heavy? Much bigger. Bigger than this the is 105 Heavy. meters, Falcon Heavy 70 meters tall. Oof. So it's a good, you know, 35% more. Aye, aye. Here's the deal. What's crazy about this rocket is that they used to use, uh, they tried to use what's called, uh, th oh, oh, crap. Uh, they used to basically pitch and do yaw and pitch, like, so moving the rocket like this by um, altering the amount of thrust. on the, uh. Like, so one engine would kind of throttle down and then make it pitch this way. Non gimbular. Non gimb. Non gimb. What? Why did you know that? I guess you know the word gimbal. So yeah, they didn't gimbal. The center engines could kind of gimbal. Look at them getting hot. Are those getting red and hot? No, uh, yeah. Uh, mm. uh, I mean, they're doing their job. <laughs> I know how we're gonna make it blow up at 66 or 67 seconds. They use, they do this thing called hot firing. They're, they hot fire their stages, so it means they actually light these engines up before it detaches. Oh, she's gonna blow. And then I'll just let them, I just won't detach, and I'll just let it blow. Look at how great this is, though. It's a sturdy rocket. Uh, full disclosure, I had to take a bunch of fuel out. This thing's, like, on a third of a tank because of all, all stages, because it just has too much. Too much fuel, too much delta V. You ready for this failure? Oh, I lit those engines. We're going to make this thing fail, hopefully. Oh, get ready. He and the pineapple's in. Good. Ian the pineapple, howdy, howdy, howdy. Love myself to me and the pineapple. Oh, great. Look at this. It's not even going to fail. Oh, boy. Come on. Let's break this thing in half. You're too sturdy. Let's break this You're too st What? It's firing right there on Let's these engines. On the tank, and it's not blowing up. In half. Have you even heard of blowing? Uh, uh, how do we do it? Can we can we fire another rocket oh, at it? Oh, there we go. There she blows. Yes. Oh. <clears throat> now we can test the launch abort system. Ready? Three, two, one, hit, hip. Oh, yeah. Freedom. That seemed like a failure, too. No. Oh, she's alive. A, okay. These are our crew capsules. And that just becomes a buoy in the ocean. That will actually basically become a buoy in the ocean. A lighthouse. A, a lighthouse, if you will. The Or the band Lifehouse, if Ooh, you will. Lifehouse. So apparently I don't have any uh, <laughs> control from here. Paul Jr. wants to know. He can't remember my new name. It's Jacob E.Q. Yeah, this is now Jacob E.Q. I'm no Jacob E.Q. No longer Uncle Dad. You know why? One of the reasons why we changed it from Uncle Dad to Jacob E.Q.? Do you know why? Uh, no. 
Well, first and foremost, it didn't make that much sense. Second of all, uh, debatable. It sounds like there's a show called Uncle Grandpa. There is a show with a character called Uncle, Uncle Grandpa. Grandpa. And that doesn't make sense. That we has don't, nothing we to do. We want to be ourselves. There ain't no Jacob E. Q's out there. There's no Jacob E. Q's out there. This is it. It's also a little more mysterious. People are going to be like, is he a DJ? Is right. he a, is he some is kind he, of... Is he an everyday questionnaire? Yeah. Is he the is he the the peanut butter on the peanut butter and jelly sandwich? The thing that just smooths it out and sticks it together. That's what people are going to be wondering. That's what I want them to wonder. That's... People... Oh, great. People are already... Brian Kirby, Uncle Dad, best name. Well, but what about Jacob E. Q? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what about Jacob E. Q? We have to kill it. Like, we have to kill Uncle Dad and Jacob E. Q is now we, born. We'll just say that Jacob or Uncle Dad was inside of this. I was a little green man smiling with excitement and joy. Uncle Dad. And now I'm about to plunge to my death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I become right. something new. And that is Jacob E. Q. E. Q. <laughs> Also, RCDJ, thank you for the tip. You are always too generous. He is very nice. I really appreciate it. Um, he's a neighbor, kind of. Not neighbor physically, but neighbor physically. Like, not, uh, but like, uh? Next state over. Oh, really? I believe he's a South Indiana. Dakotian. Indiana's not even one state over. Yep. <laughs> I know you grew up in Illinois, and you can't, you can't fathom the fact that not everything borders Indiana. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Jacob BQ sucks with an X instead of. <laughs> I don't quite get it, but man, people like people like Uncle Dad. Blow up a rocket with a Kerbal named Uncle Dad. <laughs> RC DJ DJ RC DJ. You're the best. RC DJ is the best. He's a tip daddy. He's he is the tip, He's a daddy. tip daddy. Okay, what should we have a vote? I know. Hey, someone said we have to re uh, jettison everything but the reentry module. I apparently don't have a like a <laughs> computer probe on that, so I can't even control it. I don't know what that means. I had no control. Oh well, they, it did what it's supposed to do. Then it did what it's supposed to do. The question is, will it do what do it's it supposed, supposed to, to do, do next? next. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> That's the exact <laughs> question. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, so let's see. Uncle Dad is better. You know what? Everyone thought, you know, iOS 7 was better than iOS 8, but it just took a little while to get used to. <laughs> Apparently people don't like your real name. Jacob BQ. That is my real name. That's this my is, new name. I mean, this is a little... I think that people get used to it and they will, it will, oh, Jacob BQ, EQ, EQ. <laughs> the everyday questionnaire. It's majestic. It's... What about Uncle magic. EQ? <laughs> is that a happy compromise? Uncle EQ? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Uncle EQ? Uncle EQ. Like, you can be like, yo, what's up, Uncle EQ? You just <laughs> it's make hard it to word. say it does not roll Jacob EQ. No, but Jacob you can be like, EQ. what's up, Uncle EQ? So you just make it two words. Uncle EQ. <laughs> I mean, you make it one word. Uncle EQ. Uncle, Uncle Q. Jacob EQ. What's it mean to you? What's it mean to you? Jacob EQ. Jacob EQ. Greetings from Finland. Oh, that's Joni. awesome. Joni bought, or Yoni, maybe. Yoni, that's right. Uh, bought, thank you for buying a print. That means a lot. And thank you so much for your generous tip. And howdy. And Finland. What's Finland, Finland like right now? I'll tell you what Finland's like. It's probably cold. And Dark. they're probably winning anything with a car. If you want to win, employ a Finn. Probably doing some good things in the Winter in the Olympics. Olympics. That's the Scandinavians, the man. Fin Finland. Finland, Winland. That's <laughs> what I've always said. All right, so here's the what deal. Do do? I think we we successfully failed. Now it's time to successfully Let's success. Let's do it right. Let's do it right. I gotta get I gotta get focused here. I'm gonna set the guitar down for a little bit. You ready to answer? Ask some good questions. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Look at this. We're gonna employ Kath Long. Have you ever heard of a person named Kath Long? That's our mother's name. It's the worst thing you've ever said to me. It's Kathy. Not clearly not Kath Long. Close enough. So if they like, oh, Paul Jr. in Discord says the everyday questionnaire. But that's kind of long. I mean, I, I appreciate Paul Jr., don't get me wrong. What if we called you Jacob, the everyday questionnaire? Is that better, guys? That sounds like a, a cool, hip, like, rapper name. Jacob, the everyday questionnaire. Yeah. I still like Jacob EQ because I like to I like to equalize, too. Yeah, he's the sound, he's the sound magic guy. Here's the levels. 
And I'm just, mm, I'm a compressor. <laughs> yeah, you're just smoothing, buttering it out. Yeah. Butter beans. We'll figure it out. It's going to take the whole cast, but here, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's true. I think we, we sit on it, we get, we get down to business. We get down to business. We come back to it. We, come we circle back to it around. The moon. We'll circle around the moon. I like where you went with that. That sounds great. Okay, so here, I'm going to do more of a jobber explaining the rocket. Okay. As we as we ascend. Yeah. So you guys ready for this? Remember, there's only two Kerbals on board. We only have two of your little green guys. We do have green guys on here, though. Hey, this is things are getting real now. Yeah. Are they is... buckled in? Do they have li like safety vests and life vests if necessary? I hope they don't need life vests. Okay. They might. Do they have parachutes? They have a parachute on their okay. on their capsule. Okay. I could use like an individual parachute if that's possible, but I I can go with it. Nope. Too bad. Okay. We're going to the moon. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. You guys ready? Let's, we're going to do the hot fire. Ready for this? Three, two, one, hip, hip. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> Apparently didn't hit the other button fast enough. And I didn't throttle up. She came. Oh, my gosh. No. Not. Why? They're okay. They're we scared. just touched the pad. And actually, that's what happened in real life. A touch and go? It didn't touch and go, but it melted the pad. It literally melted the pad. And Are then later on some of the other attempts, just, just flattened the whole pad. We're not... This isn't lost. We're okay. We're going. I throttled up last second. Our boys are a little scared. They're a They're and very more. scared. But we always had the... We had the eject button. Okay. They're... They're in good hands. I what's crazy you. is, see this big fairing thing up here? This, like, the top butt? That can split open and then pull... It, 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 it escapes them. There's a launch abort tower. Got it. And it actually would pull them out of that fairing. And they tested that even. Do you know that's where the Russian uh, nesting doll came from? Is the N1 rocket? Yes. I did know that. That's a common fact. Everyone I, knows I'm that. I'm sure everyone knew that. <laughs> did Did you model the cute little LK on the end, or is this launch not carrying the LK? Um, I think he's talking about the LK. Uh, and thank you, uh, Nozumu. Thank you. I believe the NK is the little lander. Okay. So yes, absolutely. So so this one is of all them... stock again. Okay. People ask that question. We're playing all stock, 100% stock, and. Um, I think that's important because it means that you guys can build this. There's no mods. It's besides, I use uh, we use Kerbal Engineering Redux K E R to like give you us all these like magic numbers. But there's no funky stuff, no hacks, nothing like that. No, no parts. These are all stock parts. Excellent. So there we go. And and the thing was the to land on the moon for the one person. Is that right? Yeah, the little tiny, little tiny baby miniature version of like the lunar lander. Okay. Go and ahead. also R C D J the <laughs> boom. And we, we also got Nozomu Yume. Uh, yeah, that's who asked about the little L LK. You got that. All right. Yeah. Good. Good. Um, can I make this downloadable? I believe I can. Uh, Brian Kirby wants to know, have I been to EVE stock? I've been to EVE and back using a space plane in one shot. No quick saves. In which is stock. Stock. Mamacita. I have to brag. That's amazing. I love it. I, it was a three-hour live stream I did over a year ago. I remember. I wanted to kind of prove my Kerbal chops. Yeah. And that was That you the weren't best. just messing around with. That I wasn't messing around. Yeah, just because you got a guy here playing music and stuff doesn't yeah. mean that you're not. You weren't there for it. No, I remember. But you, I showed you. We were we were streaming. Around know, those times. Around frame. those times, yes. that's right. Yeah. yeah. This is the universal streaming. Around those times. Yeah. This is streaming. Oh, baby. How's Look it going? This. Is everything, if levels are correct? We're going great. We're going to do that hot fire, so we're actually going to light up the engines um, about T minus one second. And the reason they did that, by the way. The hot fire is too good of a word to not have a song. To not have a song about yeah. it. You're right. Here's why they did a hot fire. So say it stops accelerating, even if it's in the atmosphere, even if it's like at the top of a roller coaster. You know how you kind of experience that weightlessness? <sighs> so if we feeling. cut the engines right now, it would be weightless all the way up until it falls and until the atmosphere starts to slow it down. Okay. So the deal is, if you're doing that, um, the fuel also becomes weightless. And so the, t the pumps can't suck the fuel in. Oh, no, they're sucking in air. They're sucking they're in air. Blow up. Literally, yes. So there's two options. One is to have this thing called a eulage motor, that as soon as you separate the stages, this is what America has kind of always done. America. Uh, you have this eulage motor that kind of accelerates it, so it pushes all the... Think of the fuel, it's all weightless. And they kind of accelerate it, <clears> they just push <throat> it really slowly, and they kind of catch it. So that all the fuel sinks back to the bottom. Nice. We're gonna do that hot fire. Three, two, one, hot fire. Hot fire. And 
stage separation. How oh. far? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh launch my abort! Gosh. Launch abort! How far? Launch abort! That went very poorly. That went very poorly. We are tumbling. Oh my gosh! In oh control my mode. Gosh. How far? Was it the weightlessness? I think I just. How far? I think I hot fired too. Hot fire. Too spicy. Too spicy. It's funny, I've tested that a hundred times and it was fine. But now, when it matters, with the Kerbals on board, yeah. They're uh, scared, but you know what? I feel like they have a trust in you. They know that I had the launch abort system there for them. Especially the Apollo uh, 13 Tom Hanks on the left there. Oh, old Munbar? I mean, Munbar looks like Tom Hanks and I can't... If you told me that that was a coincidence, I wouldn't believe you. You're right. So this is going very, very Soviet Union of us. Yeah. Which is perfect. It's this fine. Is Soviet. Yeah. So now we're falling, and we are going to just go ahead and we're going to deploy these chutes in a second here. I got to tell you what Sloppy Top Twenty Three said. Oh. Okay. Cavitation bad. That, however, is worse. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but so it... cavitation is when it's sucking up air. Got it. Yep. So cavitation is bad, but what we just did, arguably, was much worse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Touche. Touche, Sloppy Top 23 in our Discord channel. We just keep rolling, yeah. That Discord channel's getting hot. It's spicy. And it's late. A lot of a lot of our Discord members, a lot of our patrons, are not from the United States. We're talking 3, 4 in the morning? Yeah, 3 a.m. right now. My goodness, we got to get to sleep. But I, I put the people first. in here. <laughs> so we're, we don't need... I don't, do we even need to recover this, or should we just restart it? Uh, Is there... Can we just... The guys. They're going to be fine. I mean, we could... They got life vests, you said. Look at how long we're going to have to wait for them to fall. It's going to be like It seems like minutes. they're almost ready to hit the ocean right now. Or is that yeah. just a visual? Uh, we're 700 meters up. Oh, gosh. Okay. But they'll be okay. They have life vests? The, f the thing floats. I think they got... So somebody will send somebody out for them. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Sure. Let's just move on. How far? <laughs> How far? I know all you care about is those little green it's guys. It's too hot in here for my little green Oh, uh, remember? Ian wants to know from the no space far. oddity. Can't remember, there's two, a two, two factor thing. We can't play copyrighted music. Oh, you know this, Ian. I wish. And number two, we did play around with that, and we found out that is the weirdest set of chords oh. ever written somebody, by a human. Somebody, somebody put them in the chat last time, and I played them, and it was like, whoa, that's it. But that is weird, and yeah. it's amazing. It is amazing. It is genuinely amazing. Oh, Georgia. Bradley from Georgia. Hi, Bradley. Bradley, I think, is new. I don't recall seeing Bradley before. Ariel's in uh, Argentina. She said it's midnight there. That makes sense. Wow. Yeah. Our... They want the craft file. People are wanting the file for this craft. We'll put it up. i got to do something about that. It's not like a secret recipe thing. No, no. I'm glad to share it. I was too lazy. Okay, got it. Um, we are going to fix one thing, though. I want to make sure that... I, mean, I want to make sure it doesn't do that boomy thing. That's bad. Okay. Booms are... It's funny that it didn't boom when I wanted it to boom. And then it boomed when I didn't want it to. That's classic Kerbal. Boom when you didn't. Boom, boom when, when you don't. don't. Boom when, when you didn't. didn't. Boom, boom when, when you don't. Boom when you didn't. Boom when you don't. Boom when you didn't. Boom when you don't. I'm going to lower this just a little bit. There we go. I'll just do that. Let's launch this again. Let's, Let's do give it. another try. Sloppy Top's from Illinois. That's where I'm from, too. Oh, baby. Launch pad is not in serviceable conditions. Cannot launch. Sloppy Top, so Sloppy Top, if you feel comfortable, what, what town are you from? Because I can tell you what town I'm from. Wow. This might get townsy. Hey, can you sing local. a song? About the town? No, about... The sweatshirt's coming off. The sweatshirt's coming off. Because the everyday's getting too hot. The sweatshirt's coming off. I bet our viewers won't mind. Cause the sweatshirt's coming off. I didn't remember the chords from the original song. Yeah, how didn't matter. dare you? Didn't matter. It was I still hot. I think it was just a E minor. Ooh, Quincy. I'm from near, near Peoria. So, our, our. You guys, whatever. keep talking about Illinois. We all no, love man, it. Let's talk about rockets We love space. Illinois. Just keep talking about Illinois. This is great. This is exactly why people tune in. 909 in Illinois. Which one? Why does it have multiple? What? Which one? Iceland, 309 from Iceland, do this. from this. Sorry Goddard. Jeez, Iceland. Minnesota, love your vids, Tim. That's Mercury Messenger 7. Thank you, Mercury Messenger 7. Someone with Sarah was born in Chicago. Okay. I was not. New Jersey? I 
don't want to do my S- Jersey accent. Someone speaks Polish. They're from Zuber Zekistisvavik. I'm sorry yeah, about that. I'm that sorry is, that I can't say it. Not that you're from there. Uh, that's very, very difficult to pronounce. I'll it try is. it. Zuber. Well, we got a couple people from Iceland. Z- I can't. I gave up. It went away too. Yeah, I it's, tried. They're flying in. We I got Denmark. Tried. Four ten in Denmark. You guys are crazy. SpaceX constantly launching rockets. rockets. That's like true. A bag, there's, a bag. I, I read this week that they're sending rockets up for a global Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. That's the beginning. Yep, it's the demo, the beta. The, the thing that keeps striking me about SpaceX is that you like you'll hear something, and then it's just it just becomes a thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They there's, don't. There's less. There's more action and less talk than in any yes. other industry I've and ever quick. seen. And very like, quick. It's like, hey, we're thinking about. Okay, oh, we're thinking about later. global Wi-Fi. Boom! There's rockets in the air with yep. Wi-Fi yep. with routers. It's beautiful. They got. That's what I love. About they got them. Belkins up there rolling right now. Belkins. Belkin three twenty two and. <laughs> Belkin routers. <laughs> yeah, the Belkins that you, when you go into the kitchen, you lose the from the thing. Yeah. We don't want to talk about, we don't want to talk about They're one of our sponsors. <laughs> Belkin. Thanks, Belkin. <laughs> Belkin, we love you. Don't worry. It's not true. All those sponsored dollars that we don't have. <laughs> ready for this? Yeah, Let's I'm launch ready. again. Let's not mess up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hip, hip. Full throttle. I have full throttle this time. There we go. Better luck. We just needed a better launch. Maybe I damaged the bing bong when I launched it last time. Damn. Damage to the ping pong. Damage to the ping pong. Yeah. Damage to the damage. Damage to the ping pong. 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 Damage to the sing song. Damage with a sing song. Damage to the bing bong. Don't fail me now, girl. <laughs> damage to the bing bong. Yep. And damage to the yeah. That's that's the hottest track I think of twenty. What is this? Eighteen? Yeah. Yeah. You guys have all heard "Damage to the Bing Bong" on the radio. Is Bing Bong that character from the soccer? I can't movie? talk about it. The, the soccer, soccer movie? movie? No. no the emotions movie. The people are things in their heads. Oh. Uh... That. Where it's Motion. a little girl and she's yeah. struggling. Oh, it's kind of yeah. sad. Yeah. Dark and light, in and out. What's it called? Bad and good. It's called brain. Someone's gonna hit us here with it. It's called. Uh, she's got a. She's got. Yeah, all her emotions. She's in there. She's a teenager going it's, to be. It's called uh, Inside Out. Inside Out. I can't even talk about the big. Is this the name Bing Bong? The big pink thing. The, who gives his life for her? Yeah. That's he so sad. He sacrifices himself for Delta V. When Bing Bong... Delta V, you called it Delta V. <laughs> he did! He let go. Oh, he baby. ejected his mass oh, off the back end so that she could make it. That was awesome. It's the most dude. beautiful thing oh, in the I'm world. I'm actually tearing I up. I can't talk about it. I'm just thinking about that. That was so sad. I can't. I that's, can't. That's almost as bad as the first ten minutes of the movie Up. Oh. Uh, we can, kids I, like, can we watch Up? And I'm like, don't. Because no, Daddy can't handle it today. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy can't why? handle it today. Kids, you'll learn someday that this is just... This is real life, and Daddy's sad, and he cannot watch this anymore. <laughs> oh, These guys man. would like to know my take on the Falcon Heavy launch. Yeah, I, would lo- I would like to know your take on the Falcon Heavy launch. I, I will say really I was preoccupied during the live stream, but I did okay. come back to it and watch it, and mm-hmm. I watched it with my children, mm-hmm. and I think they understood the enormity of it. Yeah. And I sort of probably don't understand the enormity of it but I, it was you mean really the, something. Like, I could see it in you I like could, the physical size or the enormity the of the whole, situation the situation and uh, you know I think everybody who watched your who watched your video from from there Cape Canaveral yeah and my two frames per second but that's one frame right. per you two seconds you, you know that's why we're putting Wi-Fi globally that's true that a gigabit Wi-Fi that's what I'm giggy, talking about giggy giggy oh um, I forgot to hot fire I oh no just stage this right oh, now oh gosh not again there we go now that looks okay. Now that's a rock. Oh, there's some gimbal in there. Is that yeah, a... this one I kind of. Mm, have... Somebody snuck a little gimbal in. Because <laughs> we don't, you can't do it in Kerbal. You can't do that. Okay. Um, so engine, oh, you had to. I get it. Yeah, yeah, engine. A little cheating in there. Hey, hello from Tulsa. Thanks, Mitchell. Love my videos. Keep doing the great job of making technical stuff understandable. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, Mitchell. Horn. That that honestly means a lot. Yeah. I. That's the stuff that sticks with me. So thank yeah. you. In a world of negativity on the internet, um, you guys make it all worth it. So thank you so much. Yeah. I will say this: this stream brings in some of those positive people. Oh, I know. Uh, you know, you expect um, silly, 
bad stuff. Nope. Everybody's just cool. Yeah, everyone's great. I have a great crowd. I have great, great supporters, great friends, yeah. great people out there in Mission Control. They are just the best. Uh, we have, we need to say goodbye to Hados Goodrich. Uh, and yeah, we have the Tolsonian. I don't know how you'd say that. Oh, I gotta pay attention here. I don't want to go too high up. We're gonna start circularizing. So remember, when we're launching, this will be really apparent when we're on the moon. It'll, it'll make a lot of sense. But if I were to turn off the engines right now, we would hit 70,000 and then we'd fall down. That's the reality of the situation. So we'd be weightless all the way through here until we hit the atmosphere, then the atmosphere would slow us down and you'd feel that then. Because otherwise you're just like floating, floating, floating. And now all of a sudden the floor, floor is literally, because the floor is attached to the spacecraft, hitting the air, the air slowing it down, and it would be, it would be producing G-forces on you. You'd then feel that acceleration, that change in velocity. Because right now, if we just coasted, there would be no change in velocity if there's nothing to slow us down or speed us up. So that's why, that's how this stuff works. And so we're gonna keep burning here on the stage. Just do a nice clean stage. Oh, there. Yanni's back. Timmy, thank you, Yanni. Oh, no way, astronaut Timothy Copra. Or, I don't know. From actually, Finland. It's from Finland, I did not realize that. That is news to me. Thank you for sharing that information. I forgot to hot fire this guy. Come on. We're going. We're doing it. Is that a burn mark on the side? Here? There's no. They did stripes so they could see. Okay. Literally, if there's rotation. Not and stuff a bad in, idea. In high speed cameras. Way to go, yeah. Russia. Yeah, look. Oh, this isn't. That's just Kerbal. Because oh, it's the tank from the Saturn. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Not really Russia. Russia's was all green. Russia, I gave you too much credit. <laughs> okay, John, John's thank in you. Here with a. With a. Oof, with a real. Please share with you. Looks like it's happening. You're no Please longer. Please share with Jacob. You're no longer for strings and other guitar stuff. What does that mean? He, he wants me to share that tip with you, which I we need to start doing. Oh, that's too kind. I, I thought you had a tip about how to play the guitar no, better, and no. I was like, yeah, I can take tips. <laughs> hey, oh. tell Jacob that that is a dumb chord. <laughs> Here's twenty dollars. Get him to stop playing it. Sure, I'll Thank take you, tip. John. That's really generous. That's very kind, man. Thank you. I will. Where's John will. from? I wonder. Um, I is, don't it, is it rude to ask where people are from on a live stream? It depends. It depends if you feel comfortable, comfortable yeah. we'd love to know where you're from. Some people are very, no problem with it. So here's the crazy part. Here's what I just did. I put us into a pickle. Your guys are involved in this. Oh boy. Ready? We have to, we are not in orbit Mumbar. yet. We're short of an orbit. Oh boy. We're going to go out to here. We have 12 minutes to <clears> undo <throat> the fairing, which we'll do right now. Three, two, one, hip, hip, by fairing. And that's our spacecraft inside. Now here's the deal. We have to... Eject the stages burnout. We have to turn around and dock. The craziest thing about this docking procedure that they planned, because this never happened, by the way, um, you couldn't transfer between crafts. You couldn't go and sliding through a docking port. They had to EVA. They would have had to put on a spacesuit, get outside, climb over to the other spacecraft. Oh, man. Yeah. That's some real uh, Matt Damon type That's stuff. some real Soviet stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to get these guys out of the way of those <laughs> other parts. We got somebody from Merritt Island, Florida. Is that the same John? Yeah. John Rumpf? Yeah. Or John Eric? Yeah, yeah. John. Duh. Oh, I forget that he's John Rumpf on here and John Eric. Now okay. we probably know his phone. Merritt Island, Florida. Yes. Oh, man. Did I see yes. an Airbnb listing this week in the Florida Keys? And John's a very. I met John at my Patreon. Meetup. You did? Yeah, he's great. John, man. You're John. awesome. Here comes Clint. I got to tell hey, you about this Airbnb you, Clint. listing. It's a it's a private island in the Florida Keys. You rent it for the week or whatever, and it's you have your own island. What? And I was like, okay, that's a vacation. That can't be right. Is that? I'm gonna play some. I'm gonna play some vacation music. Some vacationer. <coughs> some some vacation. Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice, but that'd be that copyright flag right there. So I'm gonna strafe this guy over. I'm gonna also get rid of. Um, which way are we going here? So we got We have to dock this thing before it's too late. How scary is that of a proposition? Okay, so I'm going to switch back to this guy. We have to turn this around and dock it and then kick it into orbit or else, it's, or else we're screwed. That's the reality. Ian, one of our favorite guys, <coughs> wants to know about how to learn guitar and bass. Any tips on oh, playing? Man. Which to choose, whether to start on bass or electric. I say start on because you need 
to have the enjoyment in the, I mean, to, you know, just to be able to pick up an instrument and just go, ah, it's just such a fulfilling feeling. You <laughs> That's know what true. I mean? But also you need to learn the notes and there's nothing like learning the notes. Like That's a bass. <laughs> It's true. A bass will teach you the the fretboard really well. Yeah. Um, a guitar is going to teach you the chords really well. So, I would say I don't know if I agree with both. I almost think buy a guitar and and learn and learn bass parts on guitar. How about that for advice? I like is that. that. Bad I advice? can get behind that. Because then you learn the notes really well. You get a familiar familiarity. I actually removed the word familiarity. I can't say the word. I tried to put it in my script. Oh, uh, we're coming in for a docking here. There we go. We're Dock docking. No big deal. But they didn't have to climb out in this situation. Yes. Oh, not yet. But like they would have had to climb out on their way to the moon, okay. which is insane. No, yeah. thank you. I often look at the faces of the Kerbals on board to see what... I want to know what they're feeling. I want to know what they're experiencing. I know that Enjoyment. I'm a, <sighs> a little tense. And I've seen their faces get a little scary. Here, I see they trust. They trust, trust you. Me. They know. I'm they starting know. to get on board, no pun intended. <laughs> with this, with the way you're doing things here, I I want to treat your little green guys right. I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to ruin them. You know, I'm not out here, Mister Ruin the Green Guys. That's not my name. Not ruin the green guys, guy. I'm not everyday ruin those green guys, guy. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna circularize here quick, which means we're just gonna because right now we're not quite in orbit. If we don't do a burn here, we will fall back and we'll hit the atmosphere and we'll deorbit. That ain't good. That's time to burn. That's an expensive failure. So we're gonna, and puffing. we're gonna go ahead and do this, which will raise our orbit. So check this out. We are now in orbit. I'm gonna go up to like 120. Um, not necessary, but we're gonna do it anyway, just to kind of really circularize it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, gimbal time. Look at that gimbal now. And the 120. Good. We are in our parking orbit. Now we need to find our rendezvous with the moon. So we're gonna click on the moon, set target, we're gonna do. We're gonna line up for our our orbital maneuver here. It's gimbal time. All right. So I'm gonna do this. It's gimbal time. Gimbal kiblets. It's gimbal time. So here's what we have to do in order to get to the moon. You have to go where it's going. Dark. We're on the same page. Go where it's going. And I just messed that up by accidentally dragging that you thing. You gotta go where it's going. Keep on keep You gotta on lead it up. like a football player. You told me that once. I oh, think. it is like a nice big football throw. Look at that. So what we have to do is we have to intercept where it's gonna be and not where it is. Because right now, if we just raised our orbit. So what we're doing is we're, we're raising our orbit. We're planning our, our maneuver, which will raise our <laughs> orbit out here. It's gonna intercept us. We're gonna be right in line with that old moon. Wow. We're gonna do about 50... The moon parapsis. Peri periapsis. Yep. And ariapsis. Periapsis and soapsis. Soas. Not a soas. Soas is a muscle in the in the abdomen. I hope you would know that. Periapsis and s don't tell me, okay? And I'm not gonna look at the chat for a second. So <clears throat> periapsis and I'm just gonna clear the mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I think nowadays with our smartphones and our chats, we don't have to dig deep anymore mm -hmm. into the files. You don't have to get up in there. <clears throat> and I barely ever open the filing cabinet because I have a bunch of children at home. I'm they don't let busy. you. They, they stand don't let on you. the filing That's cabinet. That's right. They're, they got the doors locked and they have the key. They have the key buried in their soggy Cheerios. Three, two, one. Hip hip. We're going hip, to hip. the train. We're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. So they I'm gonna know. dig deep and I'm gonna open the cabinet. They're not yeah. here. I'm gonna open the filing cabinet and I'm gonna dig deep into the. Into the inside. Let's of hear it. What is it? Periapsis and um, periapsis and. We got that. That's good. You're doing great. I'm just gonna clear the mind for a second. That's usually when it comes to you is when you can truly let go. You're finally hanging on. That's just something I came up with. <laughs> also, I need to say hi to our friend Trond. Over in Norway. Oh, hey, Trond. His, his, his name's uh, Tegan. Tegan. I, I think Trond. it's Trond Tegan, I believe. Oh, you know, it's like you know them. It's like you. This... I spent a lot of time with these people in Discord. <clears throat> it's unbelievable. The I Discord spent a channel. lot of time there. I couldn't spend a lot of time today, and I might not be able to spend a lot of time in the when I, I'm going to be going to Mexico next month. Oh. And we doing something that I still can't talk about at the end of March. You know what I'm talking about. 
I do. You know. You exactly. can't talk about that yet. No. Oh gosh. Not until they say you're good to go. <clears throat> oh, we should stop saying that because it's almost like we're baiting people to say, "What does it tell us?" Mm-hmm. We can't. We can't. 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 So I don't want to tease people. That's right. Ooh, a Rickenbacker. But, Somebody's got a Rickenbacker. Oh, Rick. Ricks are great. Did you ever have a Rickenbacker? No, but Coover still has my. My Dan Electro. No, oh, you can't get rid of a Dan Electro. I can't. I gotta go get that from. I have room now. The a Rickenbacker. Old... Oh my goodness. Ricks are phenomenal. It's nothing like a Rick. And periapsis and. Hey there, the the Ghost Gunnar, the Ghost Gunnar, Gunnar, Trond Tegan. Where's Trond from? from? Norway. Norway. Mm-hmm. I've never been to Norway. It's great. Is it? It's oh. So, when my wife and I travel, yeah, we have a rule. Always go to Norway. Oh, okay, <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, if you if we if we're in a pretty place and one of us goes, oh wow, we don't like we won't stop. If we both go, whoa, like audibly make a Hi. exclamation, like whoa, then we stop. We had to change that rule because we were literally just apoapsis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Sorry. <laughs> Woo! That's great. That feels hot. We had to we had to stop stopping. Because we weren't getting anywhere. We'd There's be like, too much woe. wow, and then we'd stop, pull around, take pictures, and then drive around the corner. Wow. It was just pointless. There's no point. It's too pretty. That's why the national slogan is, Norway, we got that woe. <laughs> I wish that was. You need to work for the Norwegian Tourism Council. Uh, look at that. That is ah, that's perfect. Here's you're, the, you're gonna be where it's gonna be. I'm gonna be where it's gonna be. Yeah, we just nailed it. Um, can I tell you guys a little fun story about Norway? Yeah. I still have a $400 speeding ticket in Norway for going 20 kilometers a... an hour over, which is 12 miles an hour. Oh, that's not very much. No, not at all. And it was literally, I was just coming up over a hill, and the town was like right there, so I just kind of coasted into town. They had a speed trap there. So that's the only thing I don't like about Norway is I can't afford anything. You know when you go to a university for the first time, you get a parking ticket, it's sort of like, uh, you just take that as a warning. Yeah. I think when you get a speeding ticket in Norway the first time, you're good. You just let that be right. And actually the the police officer goes, you know, it's not like we're going to really pursue you in the United States for this. Unless you're like an internet famous guy, then we are. Uh Uh-oh. Making all that internet money. No. Norway. So we got the woe. This is a great one. Norway, get back to it. We got the woe. Norway, 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 we got the woe. Woe, woe. Norway. We got the woe way. Oh, Norway. Mm. Go. We got the woe way. Norway. We got the woe. Norway. We got the woe. 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 Norway. Okay, here's what we're doing now. We got the woe. I'm going to face retrograde, which is backwards. It's Tron's birthday. I'm sorry. Retrograde, but also it's Tron's birthday. Technically, yesterday was Tron's birthday. He's, he's but in he's the in next Norway. day. <laughs> no, he's already... He got the wall. He's got the wall. You're right. So we're slowing down. So I'm pointing the, the butt end of the rocket with the big fiery part. And you're doing a retro blast. We're doing a retro <laughs> burn. Burn, not blast. Nice try. I blacked out and I came up with the right answer. <laughs> so what we're doing now is it's going to slow us down. That's going to put us in our parking orbit around the mun. This is actually the moon, not the moon. I'll take a moon over a moon. I don't yeah. care. I mean, yeah. Oh, it looks like you're drifting off course. No, it's just loop. It's, it's okay. last one is up, and now it snaps. Bang, now we are in snap, orbit. Had we not been in orbit, had we not got to that point, we would have missed the moon. So this is your predicted orbit and your current, your actual, this is your path. This is where we're going, And it's period. getting sucked in. And it's getting sucked it. in because we're slowing down. Okay. So the slower you go, what's crazy, if, if you saw something in space and you know which direction it's heading and how fast... Yeah. You can tell exactly where it will go forever, basically. I mean, sand's like, sand's it interacting with other things or speeding up or slowing down with like propulsion. You always know. Okay. There we go. Can I ask you a question? Uh, yeah, you can. It course. might be stupid. That's why you're here. That's why I'm Jacob EQ. Yeah. I'm just trying to pitch Jacob EQ. Um, if Elon Musk's roadster does drift off course. Yes. Will it come back to the earth? Yes. It, it, it will have a... We'll be able to see it in our telescopes already, like, next year. 
Will like it burn up in the atmosphere? If it comes in contact... Here's the deal. It's one in like a million chance in the next million years of it actually hitting the Earth. That's not That's not so bad. That's like almost impossible. Right. Yeah. Um, it will, however, be kind of close enough. And when, when we say close in space, we're talking about so far away you can't even quite imagine it still. Like you can't quite fathom it. Okay. But it's will be doing... Like to the moon. Like, yeah, beyond the moon. The moon's 238,000 miles away, which is like almost like 300, what, 50 or 370 or something kilometers away. Okay. And, yeah, that... So, like, here from here to California. Three, thousand, yeah. No, <laughs> thousand. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. EQ. Uh, EQ. There we go. EQ. Thank you, Josh Kernick. It's a 6% chance of hitting Earth in the next oh. million years. Well, that's a little higher. But it's a car. In a million years, be we're going to be, be the car's going to be flying around. Anyway, we won't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just come and be like, there's another one. And may I say, I do believe it's going to take a million years before we're flying in cars. Mm. I just don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, it won't be cars, but we'll have a flying transport. I think we'll see flying transportation in our lifetime. Yeah, planes. We already have them. <laughs> <laughs> Ultralights. Personal flying. Gliders. Personal Gliders. flying Gliders. transportation. Ultralights. Are we really going to get in a car? And Not a car. You don't need a car. A, a vessel? A, a mini quadcopter type of thing. So think loud. about how cheap... I think Elon's right, though. Dig tunnels. Go under the ground. Go under the ground, baby. Oh, look at that. Paul Jr. Okay. Jacob EQ kind of stuck now. Oh, all I had stuck. to do was pitch it a couple times, get it, sneak it into the conversation. It's going to land. <laughs> no pun intended. We're going to... Speaking of, let's get back. What if that could be my catchphrase? No pun intended. Jacob EQ. No pun intended. I don't get what. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's right. stupid. I'll let that one go. Um, should we EVA over to the place? Like, that means I get out and I might be stuck in here, actually. Because um, I kind of covered the doors in this guy. Hello? Jetson type we're transfer I keep this, thinking the Jetsons. And then we're going to EVA this person. Watch this. Kathlon, you're going to the moon. Ready for this? We're going to get her over Okay. to... Oh, jeez. Oh, that's uh, is that a loose say, kerbal? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I thought you were gonna land it with a lander with a moon rover. Yeah, yeah, we are. But remember, they go separately. No. What? What was happening? Here's the deal. I've oh, had this happen before where oh, none of the no. controls work out. I didn't quick save either. Oh no. So I have to do this. Oh no. Okay. Here's the deal. Get in the zone. Get in the zone. Get in the zone. All right. So here's the deal. Get in the zone. In real life, they would have like climbed over. Get in the zone. But this is what they would have done. They couldn't have gone. Oh, this is when that happens. Yeah, because she's got to get on this lander here. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Get in the zone. Sponsored by Auto Zone. Get in the zone. We're in. No big deal. She's safe. Stop <laughs> crying a lot. Oh my gosh, you did it. You know one thing that continually blows the doors off of this mind? You. Me. I'm telling you, man, you can play this game. <laughs> I would hope so. After 1,500 hours plus, I would sure hope so. What do they say? 10,000 makes you an expert? No. A uh, masterpiece? I'm at 15% of that. That's huge. I'm almost a master. almost a master. All right, here we go. We're going to undock. We're going to get this thing down on the moon. Here's the interesting thing about this little <laughs> lunar lander thing. Ready? Get in the zone. Here's the interesting thing. Check this get out. Get in the zone. There's only a single stage. Get in the Remember zone. Remember how the... Our lunar, the lunar lander, the Lem, landed using a descent stage. That was one tank and one engine. And then they had an ascent stage that would blast off from the moon. So that way you weren't carrying all that stuff. Soviet Union decided, we're going to make it tiny, first off, so it's easier. And second off, we're going to just ditch the landing gear. So they kept the landing, they kept only one engine for simplicity and for overall weight sake. Now let's light this engine up. I'm afraid to do anything but this. We're lighting up that engine. We are going. We are go for landing on the moon. Get in the zone. The Get moon the zone. zone. Oh, yeah. Get, Get in the zone. zone. The moon zone. Get in the zone. The moon zone. Get in the zone. That moon zone. Get in the zone. Oh, uh, Uncle... <laughs> Howdy, Happy Feet. We changed his name now. Uh, his name is now Jacob EQ. You got Jacob EQ coming straight to your computer screen. Jacob EQ is getting in the zone. <laughs> so dumb. It was so dumb, I even stopped. <laughs> That's when you know it's bad. 
It's very bad. Uh, so we're coming down now. We're going to land on this moon. How do you feel about that? Are you ready for your... I'm ready to land on the moon. Ready for Cathlong to land on the moon. She only gets one shot She is so happy. I'm ready for whatever you have to give. That's what I needed to hear. So this suicide burn distance is going to lie to us. So I'm going to bleed off a little bit of speed now. So we got some speed to burn. Time for the moonwalk. What was Tegan's, Tegan's first name? Uh, Trond. Trond says, if Jacob E.Q. did voiceovers for audiobooks, I'd listen to all that's of them. What, that's the main reason, insider tip, guys, we might start doing a podcast. And the main reason is because of that guy's voice. And it'd be the same type of thing, I'd just read him space news and then he'd ask questions. But they'd come from the heart. They'd come from the heart. They are not going to be rehearsed. No. I want to give... I want to let give what's back. in here you want to give back and in here out there. I want to let it out mm -hmm. because I believe it's informative mm -hmm. and it also is a commentary on the downfall of uh, American education. <laughs> Potentially. You know what's hilarious about our shot here? It looks like you're small. How tall are you? Six, two, three? Three. Six, three. Six, three. Which is two meters tall. Yeah. Like exactly, right? Two meters is six seven. No, six five. No, isn't it like one? Two meters is one like six one feet. Seven. Okay, hold right? on a second. We'll find out. I'm sure someone will go. Got this. I'm not, this isn't an iPhone plug. Hey Siri, <laughs> how many feet in two meters? What would you like to convert into feet? Two meters. Two meters is six point five six feet. Okay, so you're six, like one point nine five seven six seven. What? Six, seven. Two, six point five, six feet. Oh, you should, I shouldn't argue with this. As a former professional pole vaulter, everything you did. Well, yes, was but also, meters if I, if I were feet. only a two meter pole vaulter, I wouldn't have been a professional. Wait, if you're only a two meter pole vaulter? Yeah, if I was only pole vaulting six feet seven, we wouldn't even be talking about this. Oh, right. But I did no meters. You're right. Okay, touche. Touche. Okay, so we are now, oh, oh, I gotta start burning. What am I doing? I'm talking pole vaulting. We might crash into the moon, Jacob. Sloppy top, you got, whoa, what? We might crash. What, we're going too fast? Yeah. Retro burn, retro burn, retro burn. Our suicide burn is now, I'm I'm full blown. I'm, Do we have enough gas to keep retro burning? That's the problem. Are there any parachutes? Parachutes won't work on the moon, will they? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. I'm very sorry about this, Jacob. I can't believe I let it slide. We're gaining, though. We're gaining. Got a retro burn. Retro burn. We might not be out Before of it yet. Before they get hurt. Okay, we're Before back in positive. We hurt. might not die. We're back in negative. We're negative. We're just going to make sure we don't crash into the surface. We're just going to do this. There we go. Cathlong doesn't even know that her life is in danger. She knows. She looks ecstatic. I'm just gonna keep doing this until we. I can't believe I was letting this go. She saw her life flash between her eyes. Because <laughs> it's so wide. Kathlon, you saw it. But then she Kathlon. just whispered one thing into the atmosphere. There is none. <laughs> she whispered one thing into the dead, cold air. There is none. She whispered, Retro burn for me, baby girl. Retro burn so you don't hurt a girl. Say retro burn for me, baby girl. Retro. Retro burn. Go for the go for the divot so that you have a longer time to retro burn. Can you do that? That's not a bad idea, but I Hit don't think I want to divert. I'm actually really surprised that we. I, I got very careless with this. Yet, we are having no issues. We are yeah. go for She's mooner here. dropping. Look at that. I canceled out all of our. All of our velocity. Retro burn. You gotta give that retro burn. This is the song we're gonna land on the moon on. We're lit. <laughs> <laughs> she was. She was a little, a bit out of tune. Yes, yes. Uh, someone wants the Space Lobster song. Is there a Space Lobster song? Yeah, we did one time. Is that why people keep saying Space Lobster? Was it from something you said? 
Oh gosh. You kept wondering where that's from, like, great. You come to find out it's from you. Mm. <laughs> Nero probably wants to ask how many stoges Lisa Stojanovsky is the yeah. Oh, is that a uh, measure unit of measure in another from another land? Yep, in in Australia, that's how they measure things. Mm. Is how many stoges? RC DJ, RC DJ. He's Look the tip. You. Daddy said he's the tip. Daddy looks like the first moon landing. He loves it. That means. Looks like the first moon landing. He did, he called it. Thank you, RC DJ. We did it. We're sitting on the moon. Sitting on the moon. Sitting on the moon. I chose to play this in the key of E. Ooh, so we're sitting on the moon, and Cat Long is feeling okay. Cat Long? Her name's Cat Long. Cat Long, girl. Cat Long. She's running on the moon, and she doesn't know where to go. Maybe it's a little underwhelming. <laughs> oh, she got a walking stick. Oh, it's that's a flag. flag. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Did you make that say every day astronaut? I'm gonna do a high five right now. <laughs> she just played the flag. Seen that? Have we never successfully <laughs> played it? I don't it know anywhere? if I've ever seen that. You have a flag that says every day astronaut. Yeah, girl. If somebody downloads your plans, will they also get that flag? I don't think so. They oh. easily can find it. They can make it themselves. It's no big deal. Man, oh, that was thank you, awesome. Yoni. Rock 1201, lobster. 1202. I don't know what that is, but thank you. 1201, 1202. That's what time it is. No. No, that's not possible. <laughs> I don't quite know. Maybe, Maybe it's in Finland, binary. the minutes kind of get drifted. <laughs> Maybe it's binary. Is he oh, speaking to us in computer? It's like code? Yeah. 1201, 12. Let me go back to my... Or maybe that's maybe that's, the, a, that's when he touched down. Actually, I think that's when he touched down. It's the code when the little beep thing... Oh, Sean. 1201, 1202. I hope so. Moon Yon. landing alarms. They got it. Boom. Thank you. Man. Thank you, guys. That's, that's what I was awesome. going to go to next. I was thinking that, but you, I, wasn't, I didn't want to say it. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't want to be cocky. So here's the deal. What do we need to say? I want your guys' votes. One small step for Soviet. One small. What? What do you want? What's? Oof. What's the? Yeah. This is a Soviet mission. I you know. Gotta give them I chops. Know. They tried. They didn't land though. They never landed. They never even put people on board, which is a good thing because all four of them blew up. Oh, no. Let's but see what, what Yanni that? says. I mean, he's right next to Russia, Finland, <sighs> Russia. That's true. That's true. He knows. Yanni, what do you say? What do you, what do we say here? Do we do we celebrate? After Yuri Gagarin, I like that a lot. Blake Burns. All hail the motherland. I <laughs> saw that too. All hail the motherland. This rock belong to Kathlong. I like that. Let's let's say here's to um Did you lose that pick? Yuri. Wait, what am I doing? Yuri, Yuri Gagarin. I can't say Targaryen. Uh, Targaryen. Here's, here's to the Targaryens. Targaryen. One Arson. failed mission for science. That's one <laughs> failed mission for science. Tip Daddy comes One through. green step for Kerbals. Here we go. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to say all for all humanity. Let's, let's, let's globalize this thing. Let's all make it. Kerbals. Okay, yeah. In our beautiful... Kerbin. <laughs> Kerbin. <laughs> on our, in our, on our. And then here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna list. Here's what I'm gonna do. Thanks to RCDJ. Yeah. This is Tip Daddy. Oh, tip. Have you been Princey's Tip Daddy? Tip Daddy. Uh, then Yoni has also been a. I gotta check out this Discord channel. I've been neglecting it. Clint. Sloppy Top. John Eric's there. Oh. Yep, John. Neuro pilots there. Falcon Heavy is 45 still ages high. What? What was that? Kung Fu Bear. Kung Fu Fat Bear Mitchell. says one small step for man in Russian. I doesn't. Oh, and then Sloppy Top comes through with that Russian. Could you just copy and paste that? Because that is some. Them some characters. I don't know. RCDJ's over there. Honest? Hero. I might be at like character limit. Pen Bike is there. Dang it, guys. I don't know what's happening. I tried. I, I tried. Oh. I don't know what's going on. I tried, and things are failing. Thank you again to everyone that's tipped. What do you say? Is it time to get these people, our curls back home? Let's get these babies back home. Home. 
That's oh, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Wait, Paul. they didn't leave him up there. Can I edit the flag? Read plaque. Can I not change the? What? It doesn't read anything. Oh man. It was full blown getting funky. Getting funky. <laughs> yeah, just like that. I'm sorry, guys. I tried. I tried. She's gonna go for a little hot, oh hot rock gosh, spin. Oh my gosh, Matt quick. Damon, take me to space. Doing some barrel oh rolls. About did She's a, gonna die. About did a ba oh, whoa. Take it easy there. They have necks. <laughs> They're not made out of jello, even she's though they look still like happy. it. happy. Look at how happy They don't she have is. any joints, she's but they have elated. necks. <laughs> Their legs don't bend in half, but that's all right. She is elated. I would love that, too, to be honest with you. Give, me, give me a little retro burn. Send EQ up to space. Hit me with a little retro. <laughs> oh, oh. What are those things yeah. on the side of the ship? Uh, the blue and the blue. What they're, is it? they're female anatomy. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say that, but... Hey, I what, think... In real life, it was a big round. Their thing was very round. Everything in, in the Soviet Union, like all their ships, are round. And that's really hard to do in Kerbal because nothing's round in Kerbal. So that was the closest I could do. All right. Let's do this. Let us set that as target. And then we are going to fast forward so we have a nice, clean rendezvous. Rendezvous. Those thirds as some fun stuff. I love you the thirds. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, hip, hip. And Ditchell's landing gear right away. Oh, no landing gear. Instead we have a we have a docking port. So we we have a problem. We're gonna get rid of that docking port. Are we, are we in trouble? Nope. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Paul Jr. saying Yaquez. Just came through with a tip. Thank you, Paul Jr. Hey, thank you. Saint Jean. Oh, I already saw that. You're oh, way behind. Well, it 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 doesn't hurt to shout it out You're twice. Right. Shout it out from the rooftop. I don't want to sing. Tygen doesn't want to get up in four hours, but I don't want to sleep. Damn, you should sleep. That's crazy. Fist. I can't do that. <laughs> Tron's a really good photographer. Tron, I'd like to see some of his work. Yeah, I'll show you. It's in our Discord channel. Nice Discord. Mm. Sloppy top. Mm. Does that go with a rock lobster? <laughs> <laughs> Nero pilot actually only one female was Russian because the next was Sally Ride. Ride Sally Ride. Only one female was Russian. Really? After Valentina, the next female in space was Sally Ride. Is that really your name? Mm -hmm. Is that where the Mustang Sally came from? Ride Sally. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. No idea. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know those space facts. Yeah, You're telling that's me. Fact, Jules. So look at so here's our with the moon you can pick it's a lot easier to picture on the moon because there's no atmosphere. Okay. So if we were to stop right now, we'd land right there. We don't want that. We don't want that. If we as we continue, you see that this starts to go further and further out, right? Yeah. And eventually that will We'll match up with that guy. We'll, and then boom, we're and we'll encompass the whole moon. So then we're gonna we, slingshot out. Well, once we are on it, we and dock and all that stuff. Yes. Okay. But you can tell. Oh, we gotta kinda zip zap it a little forward. It's opening up. Yeah, you can tell it's. it's you need to it. check on that apoapsis. Apoapsis. Exactly. Right. Apoapsis. Apoapsis. <laughs> New song. All right, so I'm gonna fly us. I'm gonna undercut us a little bit so we can catch up here. Right now we are. RP RP one from the uh, chat says, "No, it was Svetlana Yurgenovna Savitka." Maybe that is the female that we're talking about next, instead of Sally Ride. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think Sally Ride was... I feel like the Soviet Union launched another woman into space before... Space Hutters. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That is our rendezvous. Look at that. That is a beautiful rendezvous. Rendezvous. I'm just going to bring it in a little closer. Six kilometers, that's not bad. Oh, even better. Five. I'm just doing this with RCS, guys. I'm hitting J, K, L, I, those different buttons to, you can tell like we're just kind of strafing in a direction. And that's, I'm just kind of playing around until I, to make sure if one gets closer, I'm just gonna hold it down. That's how I like to do rendezvous. So we're getting really close. We're gonna get it down to like, within a kilometer.
Oh, we are at like... Oh, that is like the most perfect rendezvous I could ask for. I'm gonna quick save. We didn't enjoy the moon very much, did we? I would have liked to rove around a little bit. We don't have a rover. So it did seem... I'm rover. not gonna... I don't want to like downplay it. It didn't seem a little drab. You know? Can you get can I get some trees? Can I get a little pond, a lake, some koi fish? <laughs> a little drab. Let me tell you. That's the moon. I'm sorry to tell I don't mean to hurt your feelings. The moon sucks. The moon sucks. There's a reason we live here. Real estate. Okay, so no all by, by the way I'm I'm negating our right now we are a hundred meters per second off from each other. So I'm just burning opposite of where it is right now. So I'm trying to catch up. I'm negating our... our I'm, I'm going to go parallel with it. We're going to just zip zap right to it. We're getting it. right to it. Yeah. And... Zoop. Oh my gosh. What's blue and yellow make? Green. <laughs> yeah. Green. Yes, yes it does. Thank you. It's a beautiful view. Look at there. that. We are only 400 meters and closing in... Oh, we are going to do this. This is going to be a clean mission. Besides that, we had that. Seems like you're coming in nice and slow is what you want. You don't, yeah, I'm actually flying to... in pretty quick. We're going seven meters per second right now. If I don't, in real life, they'd be going like crawling. Yeah, but seven meters per second, you could run that fast. Yeah. I could? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah, my highest calculated speed has been 9.52 meters per second. So I could run probably 12. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> we all know I'm way faster than you. Yeah, absolutely. By a lot. Absoapsis. Probably <laughs> probably thirty percent faster than you, right? At least. Because it's isn't your speed relative to how incredibly handsome you are? in most cases. So I'd be thirty percent faster. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember last time we did it and somebody said he looks like um Oh yeah. The guy who plays Thor or something. Yeah. But, but worse. <laughs> yes. Hemsworth. He looks like Hemsworth, but worse. <laughs> the most backhanded I wasn't sure. Oh, Tip Daddy man. comes through again. Shut up. If he this says, stream gets 400 likes in the next 10 minutes, I'll do donate $500 on the next stream. Don't even. Oh, yeah, yeah, Don't oh, even. Yeah. Don't even. Don't even. Hey. Hey. My heart's beating out of my chest. There's no Tip way this Daddy. is going to get 400 likes in the next minute. I really appreciate no, that. No, he said 10 minutes. Or te yeah. Or four, yeah, 400 likes in well, the next minute. We got 405 minute. viewers. That's true. It would Does take... that include our Discord channel over there? Can't forget about Discord. Well, they're they're viewing. Got it. So they're, so they're part of them. They're part of them. That would be quite the ask. Man. The moon. I don't Hunter, know how to Hunter AK check. says I the moon's a bit of a fixer-upper, and I totally agree. The moon. <laughs> it's quite the fixer-upper. Look at this. I parked us zero velocity from each other. We are just stationary. From That's how perfect of a job I did parking. All you have to do is in. take your spacesuit, put a little hole in the glove. <laughs> a little Matt Damon. Or Matt, Matt Damon, your way over to that thing. Or we do the gravity version. I haven't seen that. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Sandra, Sandra Bullock? Bullock. I've yeah. not seen it. Yeah, I know. You probably can't survive looking at Sandra Bullock that long. I love her. <laughs> I don't know. Let me ask you this. Yeah. If I was that little girl right now, and I right. turned around and I went like this, would that propel me through yes. space? Absolutely. No way. Yeah, not much, but yeah, absolutely. If I did it for a couple minutes straight, I'd probably pass out. But if I didn't pass out, I could get there maybe? Well, the big problem is that right now they have a helmet on, so it seals the air. I'd just open that up. <laughs> the, so here's what I... I don't know why I never realized this. You know when people do like suction cupping or whatever? Mm -hmm. And that's literally just a, a vacuum? Mm -hmm. Imagine that all over your entire body oh, at once. No that's thing. what the vacuum space is. No thank you. It might be less than that because you can go negative PSI. Okay. Um, but space is, 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 is at zero. So 14.7 PSI different. And we just... <gasps> this is why John Kelly came down two inches, three inches taller. I don't know who John Kelly is. Who's the guy that spent a year in space? Scott Kelly? <laughs> it's John's brother. Twins. They're, is his name John <laughs> Kelly? No, probably. They're, they probably are the not. twins. I don't think his name is John. Maybe it is, actually. It might actually be John Kelly. Paul Jr. says, uh, sorry, Canadians are always sorry. Hey, also, RCDJ, I, I need to thank you again for your... Sorry. Always generous tips. Thank I'm you. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sloppy top knows Scott it. Scott Kelly and... What's yeah, the there's brother? another one. What's the brother's name? There's another one, guys. There's two of them that are both are very well-to-do astronauts. Megan. Right there. <laughs> Mark. Mark Kelly. Mark. 
Yeah. Somebody nailed it. Somebody nailed it. Not us, like always. Oh, man. I can't believe how good of a job I did parking these two. Look at that. I've never parked two spacecraft that stationary from each other. Because normally there's a little... I've done it. In my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's finish this stupid mission up. we got to go home. This is not a stupid mission. This is a great... You're right. This, this is, is not a, a great mission. mission. This is honestly fantastic. This, these are the kind of missions that just make me ex excited to be a Kerbal. Wait. I'm not a Kerbal. We call I'm a Kerbal. Kerbal. I don't know. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to click on that so I can see it. I'm going to lower the amount of Delta V necessary. Can't keep himself on the stuff because he's thinking about his things and stuff. Can I tell you, can I have a, a confession time? Sure. Confession time. Confessions. I tell you. I tweeted more than a week ago. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Since then, multiple times a day, I'll be like, I'll say, I'll break into the, the Little Mermaid song. I don't know that song. I don't know if I can sing it legally. I, I'll sing different. The, yeah, I'll, do it. Instead of dun 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 dun, do a dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, girl who has everything? Think. I've got gadgets and gizmos of plenty. That's the little. How do you not know that song? What's wrong with you? I know my kids don't watch that one. Get them on that. Your girls will love it. Little Mermaid? I know. Why don't we watch that? Watch it's a little scary. I'll admit. It's For actually, real? Oh. We'll watch it tomorrow. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to cry, though, right? I hope not. Do people cry during Little Mermaid? Do they cry? Are I mean, kids like, scared okay, of people crying? Is it part of the Disney formula to ruin dads where a, a parent <laughs> no, dies? No, no, no. Any parents die or any close well, loved ones die? Yeah, probably. I'm sure there's multiple. Why do they multiple. kill people off in these kids movies? They always kill off the parents. Scene oh one. Oh, gosh. I can't Scene two it. is Lonely's stepchild or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's been a long time. But Sloppy that Top's wife sung it yesterday. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's funny. That's really funny. That's actually really Mark funny. What are the odds of that? So, Kung Fu Fat Bear is reading the uh, the uh, Kelly book right now. Oh, I need to read that. Endurance? I tried to find it on an audiobook, um, but I use this free audiobook thing, and it's not illegal. It's called Hoopla. Have you guys ever heard of that? No. It lets you rent movies, podcast, like stuff like that for three titles a, a month for free using your own library. So you just sign in like using your library card here for us in Cedar Falls. And you can do three audiobooks per month for free. Or books, or... And it's called Hulu? Movies. Hoopla. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would be... Oh, so by the way, we're doing our, our deorbit. So we're speeding up now, which is going to extend. So our, our orbit's going like this, and eventually it'll snap. Once it snaps, it'll be... We'll be kind of officially back in the prior, like, orbit. Now we're in orbit of... Of Kerbin or Getting of the Earth. Getting into Kerbin's suction. And as we speed up now, it's going to actually slow us down here. Until we get down, we want to go to about 35,000 meters. Paul Jr. just came over the top with this hilarious video that I can't wait to watch after this thing. He put a link. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> I think I've seen that video. That's awesome. All right. We're going, we're going home. Let's get home, I'm baby. getting your Kerbals home. Get them my little green babies home. Safe. Hey, how are we doing on those likes? Did we get anywhere near 400 likes? I can't see the likes from here. I'm oh, really, really curious. Yeah, I don't know how many likes this stream has. I don't know how to check it. I don't know. Someone report back. Where are we at? 234. Boom. Sam must have read my line or there's that little of lag. Let's do this. You ready? I like this song. Looks like you're safe for now, RC DJ. All right. We're coming home. Look at this. So now we're just falling back. And notice we're going to speed up all the way back down. Here's our speed. Notice how much faster it'll get. Faster and faster and faster. As we fall, we're literally just falling. We're falling at 9.8 meters per second. We're falling Vir just like... Virtual reality. <laughs> Terminal <laughs> velocity. Kind of. Terminal velocity is more to do with air and your air resistance. Isn't slowing it down. Nine point, also 9.8? That's just your. That's just gravity's acceleration. Are you telling me that that's a coincidence that those two numbers are so similar? No, that's what it is. Terminal velocity is 9.8 meters per second. Oh, what is it? Terminal velocity is the speed at which... 
your oh hey I gotta do some work here. Real Sorry, quick. where there's no more acceleration. Where no where yeah where the air slows you down and you can't go any faster. Like our bodies. That's virtual reality. No, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Terminal velocity. I'm about to punch your I'm face. I'm sorry, my face. Oh, oh, oh we got to do a couple of this. Oh, gosh, what's this? We Why is this? this. <gasps> Here is our... This is our nightmare. No, they're still having fun. Look at them. They don't because even know they're safe. in danger. No, oh. they're not in danger. This they're is... on fire. This is re-entry, baby. Okay. We're just What spicy. about that fiery football flying We got rid of them. them. Those are the parts we don't need anymore. Ooh, bad okay. parts. Okay, okay, okay. We ditched the bad parts. Buy bad parts. Hello, good parts. So long, scary stuff. Yeah. I thought that was going to be like the first 10 minutes of Up. No, no. We're not going to attach you to to Moonbar and Cathlong and then just let them go. No. <laughs> Gribbles are going to become instructors hey, in the yeah. astronaut school. When they I have to say, Grady may have uh, um, one up to RCDJ. If this gets 1,000 likes in the next hour, I'll donate a donut to the next stream. <laughs> I, I would disagree with you and say that, that is not as impressive no, it's not. as an offer as Tip Daddy's. And I have to say, Tip Daddy is legit. Well, a name like RCDJ. He is. I'm Jacob EQ, EQ so I can understand EJ, the letters. D, EQ, you, get the, you get the letters. Yeah. No, but RCDJ is definitely on my recommended list. Recommended list. Um, yeah, speed at which an object can fall due to atmospheric drag. I like that definition, sloppy top. That's funny to say. Slope top. So you know what I mean? It's like you're still being accelerated at 9.8 meters per second by gravity, but air. So you think of skydivers. Skydivers yeah. is the perfect thing. Your terminal velocity, if you're like this, is going to be different than if you're like pencil diving, right? Okay. That's terminal velocity. Okay. Acceleration of gravity is always 9.8 meters per second squared. Actually, not always, because the further away you get, the less, the less gravity, the less gravity impacts you. Is. Just like light. It follows the square inverse law. If you look at the synapses in my brain, they're just... They, are they doing what I did in that video? <laughs> <laughs> the synapses in my brain are just these frail... Fluffers? Loose ends, and they're just... <laughs> barking around like this, and then all every once in a while, just because of magic, <laughs> they will just go... <laughs> and a lightning bolt will just race through them. Yeah. That's just what happened to me. What, what was it again? I don't remember. Uh, see, that's another. My memory synapses are still doing this. <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh, I don't remember either. Oh, I, okay. I think it was something about terminal velocity. Now I'm putting meters. Oh, inverse square inverse law. Just like light. The further away you get from gravity. Yes. If you go two times, if you go tw double your distance. Exponentially impacts you. Kind of. Yeah. If you go double, <laughs> double your distance, the gravity affects you four times less. Yeah. Inversely, exponentially affecting yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm there. I learned that in photography. So if you're dealing with a, a, a flash, and you're that flash, say that flash is five feet away from your subject, yeah, pff, it's this bright. So you <gasps> back it up ten to ten feet, four times dimmer, because you went twice as far away, squared. Squared, exactly. My wow. goodness. See what? what I'm saying? I have these. Ready? I'm gonna frazzles. I'm gonna do, but Yanni, I'm gonna thanks for the donation. Yeah, he's dang. Batman. I believe you. I believe. Yeah. That's not. We have a friend that's Batman. Yeah. Joe. Very nasty. Yanni's yeah, probably even better than Baronasty. Probably better than definitely better. What if it What if it is Baronasty? What if Baronasty's he's made his computer donate in euros. In euros. Or in yeah, those are euros. <laughs> liar. <laughs> Grady's is a liar. <laughs> uh, Hunter AK confirms it's stock Kerbal, baby. Uh -huh. No tricks. No funny stuff. Yeah, we're playing all stock. Except this for is all stock. Like I said, we always we have this up here. This is Kerr's Kerbal Engineering Redux. Kerbal Engineering but Redux. But I do love that stock stuff. It's more challenging. When you can't just stick a slap a part on there that's like nice and flim flam, you know? Bradley says That's nope. exactly Tim right. Tim will start playing realism overhaul, overhaul when he gets his, his new, new computer. computer. You get a new computer? Yeah. You you already have the paper towel roll. You realize that's four years old already. Again. Almost five years old. It's still beautiful though. It's beautiful, but it's it's showing its age. It's inefficient. That's the big thing. It's it can handle some stuff, but it doesn't run this game very well. Um, yeah, we don't want to talk computers because then people get mad. Yeah, that's right. That's fine. Stuff, you know, yeah, because they're like, oh, you need to get the AMD has a faster processor in yeah, one gigahertz. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh, Colonel uh, Kittinger didn't go supersonic due to the lower altitudes. He almost did. That's true, and supersonic, the speed of sound changes based on altitude, which I don't understand how. I don't get it. Yeah, I haven't quite... Speed of what? Speed of sound. 
I can get behind that, and I'll tell you why. Altitude rides... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sound rides... Airwaves. Based on the amount of gravity. <laughs> you were you almost had it. You so close to had Atmosphere. it. Atmosphere. <laughs> the name's Jacob. Jacob EQ. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I love it. Wow. Yep. Uh, Chong, Chong Sui wants to know where I got the Falcon Heavy model. Link in the description. All my, all those things, including this Falcon Heavy model, that Falcon Heavy model, are all from Buzz Space, or BuzzSpaceModels.com, which is Ollie Braun. Find, find him on Twitter. I have the link in the description. Check that out. Hey, we also need to give away, guess what? Oh, I hit... Rocket time? You're giving away a rocket? rocket? Oh, I'm sorry. not giving away that. Okay, a hard actually, drive. This is actually better. I'm giving, this already oh, got one. I didn't see the front of it. I thought uh, it was a hard drive. This guy in the front, that's a little piece, piece of space shuttle discovery. Did I tell you about that? Flown in space. Same thing as my wedding ring. You know that my wedding ring has flown in space that. shuttle discovery. Yep. Uh, I gave away four of these, and we just got our last winner for being a Patreon. I'm going to come up with something awesome for 500. Uh, we just hit 400 patrons, and we're coming up on 500. I got to get something awesome for 500. I got to give that nice. away. We got to announce that. Maybe we'll announce it. I don't know if we I should can make do it pins. by tomorrow. We should make pins and give them to the people in the Discord channel. Pins. Every day I'm going to be making pins, actually. I'm, I'm switching up my merchandise shop. I'm working on that right now. Well, how do we see your merchandise? Where do we go to see Everydayastronaut.com slash shop. Shop. Or just go to everydayastronaut.com. Browse around. Shop. Drop. Yeah. Everyday astronaut. Shop. <laughs> we got 300 meters to go. This is great. This is the perfect end ending to a perfect mission. Can you believe we actually did it in like an hour and a half, too, instead of like... It didn't take all night. It didn't take all night. We've got stickers. Hey, Pen Bike. I haven't actually seen Pen Bike in here yet. Hi, Pen Bike. Pen Bike, I saw, became a patron member recently. Pen, thanks, um, buddy. If you, hey, by the way, if you want to become a Patreon member and, and have access to our Discord channel, have access to uh, our my, subreddit... And my personal email. And your personal email... <laughs> Patreon.com slash Everyday Astronaut. Uh, those are the people that help me continue to buy better equipment, afford trips down to Kennedy Space Center. You're the reason I keep doing it, my patrons. I thank you so much to all my patrons. It's, it's unbelievable. It's, awesome. it's absolutely unbelievable. It's been overwhelming. What a sweet group of people. They, I know. They give, they compliment, they help, they share. And, yeah, they help me to learn. I need to get... I need to... I'm nervous that someday you're going to learn it all, and then... You know what? Don't be worried. I can't remember what happened last week. Look at Splashdown. They okay? Any water you rushing in the cabin? Me. You tell me. They seem apprehensive. This is we got a smile on Cathlon. <sighs> Moonbar's not so sure, but look at that. Could you ask for a better mission? My gosh. Could you? No. Is that the right answer? Yeah. <laughs> Every day astronaut can keep the smile from his face Cause he's heading up to outer space Yes, he's heading up to outer space Yeah Darn right Man, I get em I'm getting emotional, that was so beautiful That was, that's the best mission we've had I think yet That's how we, we do it We had one failure, which is the Kerbal way to do it This is how we do it I, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Kind of that, so you gotta go flat idea. on that last note so we're not violating copyrights. Yeah. <laughs> this is how we do it. it. You're right. Beautiful Damn. though. Damn. That was beautiful. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling really great, guys. That was that was uh. really good. The hey, here's okay, we got some we got some news items to take care of. Yeah, let's get we some have a housekeeping. Launch tomorrow morning. It was supposed to be today. A real launch? Real launch. You're Falcon 9. Oh, I'm nice. not launching. Okay. I don't. How much? I mean, how much money do they have? That they're just bang, bang, just ripping them sounds off like, like a Roman candle. Sounds like they have almost twenty billion dollars in backlog for missions, oh or is it twelve gosh. billion? A lot. They're they're killing it. They're securing all the contracts now. Their price is the cheapest. They're getting reliable, and now that they can reuse rockets, their price is already the cheapest. And now they can reuse rockets. Game over. Game over. Already. We were just talking about how awesome this would be if they could reland a, a booster. Yeah. And boom. And now it's a joke. Just a, They're relanding themselves. They forgot to even program the last two. They The computers what? failed, and they still landed themselves. <laughs> Probably. 
<laughs> Every day I have to know I can keep a smile from his face. Absolute misinformation. This is garbage. That's I'm sorry. Absolute. We got to talk about Deadpool's mom. Hey, thank you. Hi, Deadpool's mom. <laughs> What's it look like? I want to know what she looks like. Oh, that's funny. Just a wig on Deadpool. Deadpool's mom's awesome, turns out. Oh, Deadpool's mom. Oh, man. Oh, so tomorrow morning at, uh, I'll be live at like 745 Central, which I think was, what's that, plus six? 13, you 13, 13, oh, 1300 hours. 1345, because <laughs> I'll be 745, 1345 UTC, do the math. Um, so I go live about T minus 30 minutes or so from the launch. So join me tomorrow. It'll be great. Um, so, oh, Penbike has a great question. I will explain this, Penbike. Speaking of SpaceX, can someone explain what the hot landing means? This is a good question. Um, I almost feel like we should do an outro. I can cut it in the in the stream, and, and then I back. can show it, or we just do it. Real I think quick. people would like to see. I mean, this is interesting. I I want to know what a hot landing is. Let's do it real quick. I'll show you. Your your wish is my command, Penbike, new patron member. You also, I think PB. he said that he just joined. He just joined yesterday, I believe. Sunday. He was Sunday. watching the stream. Boom. Pen bike. This one's for you. Let's right. keep it in the, the... People want to see this, man. I'm just going to build it real quick. We're just going to... What are we going to do? We're going to go... Actually, I'm going to do it like like a niche. I want to just do some calisthenics in the background. <laughs> what? Is this a real thing? Are you yeah, okay? I just came to grab a different guitar. Some little softer. I told you that one doesn't have a... You don't need all six strings. Wow. That's a real musician. He looks at a guitar and says, five strings. Give me a challenge. Five. Accepted. So here's, we're going to make a hot landing, just for you. We're going to do three engines, and we're going to do, we're going to show you the difference. Uh, sure. And, uh, womp. That sounded like a doom, 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 boom, boom, boom. We're going to lower the fuel. All right, here is our basic rocket. We're kind of going to do like a grasshopper version. Max 2 point. We want like max of like 3. Okay, I'm going to teach you this is this is what a hot landing means. It's the difference any I'm going to I'm going to teach you a real quick little physics lesson. I almost want this to be a separate video <laughs> cuz I have been like meaning to talk about this. Those are huge. That's dumb. Those are even huger. That's dumb. I am now using mods, guys. I'm using Falcon 9. This is the Kerbal reusability pack or something. Amazing mods, the best like Kerbal SpaceXy types of things. Okay, that's a fail. Looks like we're going bigger. Medium it is. <laughs> okay. What is this cabbage? It sounds like John Mellencamp. Melon Melon Cramp. Melon Cramp. All right. Okay. Wow. John Denver. John Denver. Send me some John Denver. Okay, so here we go, landing gear, blah, 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 grid fins, yada, yada. We're going to put them like this so the landing gear doesn't run into them. And we are going to make it so, A, we can deploy the landing, or the grid fins, toggle fins. Uh, one, we're going to make it so we can turn on and off those side engines. We need to be above... Oh. This guitar is not working out for me. Yeah, that was the dumbest guitar you've ever chosen. How dare you, actually. Honestly, how dare you. I gotta get back to the Discord channel. Paul Jr. is welcoming Evan K.I. 4. Alright, here we go. We're gonna show you a spicy landing. Oh, we have a, yeah, we have a new Discord member. Awesome! Thank you, Evan K.I. 4. Hi, thank you. And welcome. Here we go. Atmosphere. So we're gonna go up. Atmosphere. Ooh, yeah. Hey, NASA v Vast Normandy. Just being a Patreon member. Thanks for making subscribe videos and live streams. Trust, Keep the great work. Trust, Thank you, NASA v NASA Vast Normandy. Thank you. That means a lot. I really appreciate that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump up. To, we're gonna go up to 2,000 meters. Trust. Trust. Okay, trust, here we go. Trust. Landing gear up. We're just going up, and we're gonna fall back down. We're gonna do. We're gonna do the slow space, landing burn. Space, space. Oh, apparently, even face, if we try right space, now, we space. aren't strong enough to land right now. This one engine is not strong enough. Trust, trust. I trust, failed already. Trust, trust. 
Uh, how can I illustrate this better without failing? So notice this one engine is not fast enough to overcome gravity. See that? So let's negate a little bit of speed. Gravity. Oh, wait a minute. NASA Vast Normandy. With a big old dome. Just became a Patreon member. Thanks for yeah, making sure that. that. Yes, come on. You know you what? Are... I don't mind double shouting people. You're right, you're, out. right, you're, right you're right. There's ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> you gotta have a little. So let, let me put it this way. Here, trust, hang on. Here, trust, trust. Here's a good way to describe a hot landing. So look at. If we were to hover. So right now I'm going to zero out our velocity until we're at zero meters per second, basically. And we're just sitting there. It's a there, slow burn. Static. It's a lot less burn than I would have imagined. So we're just hanging out right now, basically. Okay. We're, bar we're just basically a, just not Just a little moving. descent. Oh, Barely. Oh. Like and we're in between. <gasps> that so we're just is hovering. hovering. But we're wasting gas. So if you're sitting there, you're fighting 9.8 meters per second pulling you down. Efficiency, efficiency. So if efficiency. you're not going up, you're failing, right? So here's what a spicy landing is. Here's spice. what a hot landing is. Put the spice on. Every second that we let it go down like this, without every every Trust. second we're doing this, we're fighting 9.8 meters per second. So the less amount of time we are doing a landing burn, the more efficient it is because we're constantly fighting 9.8 meters per second. So hot if we can wait until the last second, which is what we're gonna do right now, you're using way less gas. We're using way. Does it less matter though? Gas. Once you're landing, who cares? Just fill it up. Three, again. two, one, full blown beast mode. I'm actually gonna throttle down so we can land this because I actually started a little too early. You're about to get into space with that kind of burn. I'm gonna full blown land this. Trust, 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 trust. And I put put it down to one engine. I don't know if this did anything velocity, for you guys. Velocity, velocity, velocity. I I don't know how to explain this. It's like if you're falling. The, the, so who cares about gas? That's what you said. What if you, what if you did your mission and your 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 payload's so heavy you have to use almost all of your fuel and you only have then you Tiny. Care about gas. You you have such little amount of gas. You're just like, okay, we got to slam on the engines at the very last second. Let's go extreme on this. Let's go extreme. I'm extreme, going to extreme, extreme, go to launch. Extreme. We're gonna go really hard. We're gonna land really really quick. So that was basically a suicide burn for three one three one, which is what Sloppy Top says, which is exactly. Paul right. Jr. This will be extra spicy. One, Boom! Here we go. One, we're going three. extra spicy. We're just gonna let it go up, and then we're gonna let it fall down, and we're just gonna let it. I'm gonna slam on the throttle at the last possible second, basically. And you're gonna crap your pants, you're gonna go, no way. So we're gonna come screaming it. See how far away we are already? We're cruising, right? Gears up. I should have done that a long time ago. Alright. And my thrust to weight ratio is pretty high. I'm gonna wait until my thrust to weight ratio is like four. So that's up here. 3.5. That way this will be very dramatic. You'll easily get a sense of this. Okay. So we're coasting up. We're still accelerating upward. Or not accelerating upwards, sorry. We are done accelerating, but we're coasting upwards. Right? And we're high enough that it's not as the, the gravity is already being changed nope, up there. Just no, we had a lot we had a lot of momentum. Just like if you just if you were going in a car uphill yep. and you you know, if you put it in neutral, sometimes, you're not just gonna stop. Sometimes when we're waiting for my wife in Target. Yes. We um, we do this thing where me and the kids in the van we we uh, gain a bunch of speed and then we put it in neutral and we see if we can coast all the way around Target. Out, really? <laughs> back in the back entrance where they do the loading dock and everything, and then sometimes we get all the way back around. Yeah, that's it's it's that's momentum. Perfect. Yeah, it's momentum. So we had momentum going up, and then we just cut the engines. We still coast it up. It's not like we cut the engines and we just stop. So we went up, and now we're falling back down. You can see we're we're now descending at 100 meters per second. Coming up on Fast. probably 200. Yeah, we're we're gonna do a burn. We're gonna do the burn late. We're gonna do the burn as late as we can. Efficiency, efficiency. efficiency. And this is really hard to do. A computer basically has to do it. And uh, what we're gonna do is I gotta read Sloppy Top's comment. It's about geostationary transfer orbit. Can you handle that? Yeah, geostationary orbit is a hotter entry, so they need to cancel out more velocity with a burn using one engine. Relight three to cancel most velocity, then back to one. I think landing. this is a full-blown three engine landing run the whole All way. All the way to the ground. I don't think they've done one that's spicy yet. So notice we're spicy. actually slowing down right now due to the atmosphere. We are hitting more thicker and thicker atmosphere. But we're going to go and do our... So look at how close we're just falling. Look how fast we're falling. This is terrifying, right? This is terrifying. Here Nobody on board, right? Nobody on board. Thank you. Three, two, one. Last second landing burn. I even goosed a little too fast. So I actually, I started a little too early, believe it or not. But, you see how quickly 
quickly. Whoa! <gasps> Spidered. It ain't over yet. No, it's not. It just glitched, kind of. Yeah, efficiency, so you can see there, like, efficiency. I used so little fuel because I just threw on the, I full blow, you know, just trust, went at the very last second. Trust, trust, trust. Trust the engines. Trust the engines. Trust the operator. TTE, trust the engines. I, you know, I know that you, sometimes you give off a, a cocky persona, but the truth is you're very humble. You're very humble about your skills in this game. Uh, what? You just did a front flip, Bron. Oh my gosh, this guy's unbelievable. Did you leave another ship up on top of that building? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. <laughs> you're just doing aerial acrobatics. You're so good at this game, and you pretend like you're. It's just a everybody can do it. It's just an everyday astronaut. That's what you think. But I'm telling you, I'm going to the bottom the of the place. barrel to tell you that there's a lot of people out there that cannot do this. I don't know. I bet Jeff Bezos could do this in his sleep. Bezos, come on, man. Amazon Prime rates going up? No thanks. Are they? Oh yeah, baby, I'm canceling. I don't You're not that. canceling. I already did. You can't cancel Amazon Prime. Trust. Is that, is that physically possible? I don't think we're gonna make it. No, it's not. It's a uh, it's a Ponzi scheme. <clears throat> we're just gonna. It's confirmation this. email. You're getting into a confirmation e email circle. <laughs> what? A confirmation email circle where you you have to click on this link to get to the, an email sent to you to then click on another link to finally. Uh, cancel your Amazon Prime membership but it just takes you to another email and it's a it's a confirmation email circle that can't be right it's not true but it yeah, was difficult that's not, that's not very true <laughs> trust 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 I think that's gonna do it for us tonight you were awesome man oh you were awesome Whoa. I wasn't awesome they were awesome we had 400 people watching how many likes did we get I'm curious I'm curious too I have no way of knowing I'm, I'm not trying to keep I'm not trying to keep Tip Daddy on the hook, but no, he he. There's no way we were at like 240. It, it's interesting to know. I'd love to know. Yeah, well, someone will pop it up here. They can see it. We can't. We can't see it. Bradley, Amazon Rocket Prime, <laughs> get your satellite space within two days. <laughs> 281, 283. It's very awesome though. People were yeah. participating. It was yeah, very that's cool. great. Such a kind group of people. It's true. So informative. So knowledgeable. Yeah, I love it. What I love about this is I learn stuff too. Yeah, I can ask a question and. Out of the 400 people watching, someone will know that answer, and I get smarter then, and then I can try to bank it up here. Yeah. And with any luck, it'll come out at some other stream. It's maybe awesome. not, but... I'm sure it will. Maybe, or, or maybe, maybe in your next endeavor or whatever it is, maybe you can... Zip zap you, it there. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you never know. I learn a lot, too, and that's important for me, but the problem is I have a limited amount of uh, space, and when, no when you guys are pouring all this knowledge in, Jeez. some stuff's going to spill off the yeah. top. So. Like a cappuccino with foam. And it was fun while it too. lasted should be my motto. <laughs> Jacob BQ, it was fun while it lasted. But I'll forget head. all of this information by next week and we start over. That's, that's Maybe you actually have, have you ever realized that you might have amnesia? Yeah. Uh, Short-term memory loss. More yeah. Like. Yeah. That might be a thing. I think it is. I also think it's not atypical of a dad with a bunch of kids at home. To have amnesia. Oh, gosh. It, you know what? The Next trauma. Week, the trauma as a father or a mother. The trauma is... It's... it's. You know what outlandish. we're going to do next week? We're, I'm announcing this on air. You're going to sit ex close... I feel like I'm turning around backwards to oh, look at you. Oh, well, I'm just a... I'm like your Andy Richter. I don't like Andy Richter. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Andy Richter. I want to be back here playing... Like, uh, just putting a soundtrack to this thing. Whether it's a soundtrack with music or a soundtrack with thoughts... <laughs> I think we're done. Oh, we got whales in the. We're broadcasting a uh, alien, alien invasion through your Speaker. old Fender amp. That's great. I'll That's... tell you what I could use as a Fender sponsorship. You think we could get the Fender people Absolutely. on board? Here we go, Fender. Fender, I didn't know you had uh, such an aquatic <laughs> taste. <laughs> it's aquatic affection. <laughs> oh, oh, done. I there don't is. know. Anybody speak whale? That's out there. it, guys. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna wrap up the show. Join us tomorrow morning. Well, join me tomorrow morning. You'll have kids and stuff or yeah, whatever you no, do. Don't worry about me. Yeah. I will be hanging out tomorrow morning live hosting the SpaceX live stream. Uh, if you want to support what I do, visit patreon.com slash everydayastronaut. If you want to get some cool merch like Prince of Falcon Heavy, uh, shirts, mugs, hats, whatever you want, everydayastronaut.com slash shop. It's always appreciated. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much to those who supported me. Uh, us through tips. I'm going to share. we got to start doing tip share, man. That's not hey, fair. man. I'm here for the good times. Yeah, but I'm... But, I'm here with know. the good times and a drink from this beautiful cup. <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut, bringing space down to Earth for everyday people. Good night. Maybe. <laughs> Three, two, one.
one. Zero. And 